Over 50 years ago, American Heritage School opened its doors in a small, vacated chapel in Pleasant Grove, Utah, welcoming its first class of just 85 students. But the modesty of that beginning did not constrain the grandeur of the vision. Today, the school occupies a 40-acre K-12 campus in nearby American Fork, Utah, and will soon open a new campus in downtown Salt Lake City. But the founders of the school envisioned even more. So in 1970, when the school was incorporated, it was incorporated as American Heritage Schools, plural, with an S. When the school started, and several times Dad would talk to me, and he would talk about his kind of vision for what he thought the, the school would be. And it wasn't just to have everybody come to one school, but that the schools would go out to the families. Gaylord Swim, 30 years later in 2002, in his dedicatory address for the American Fork Campus, said that this would become a gathering place for people who would come in the finest tradition of Christian scholarship. This school and its outreach program, the Family Education and Resource Center, will become a catalyst for research, for writing, for publishing, for thinking, teaching, training. It is bigger than all of us, and we need to step up to the challenge. Our mission is the roots of the tree, and Christ is the taproot. The trunk is our American Fork campus. And now, with our Salt Lake campus to open this fall, that trunk gives strength and fiber to the branches which are reaching out across the earth. From a few hundred students in Utah to thousands throughout the world, the seed planted half a century ago is growing even now for such a time as this. From that first seedling, American Heritage has been reaching toward home-centered education. If we did anything right, we, we listened, and um, our families became an extension of our development, and they, they've always been the drivers of the decisions that we make and how we do things, what we build, and why we build them. In 2010, American Heritage launched the Family School, a homeschool curriculum with a unique approach in the subjects of history, geography, science, music, art, and literature. We called it family style. We just taught it to all the kids at the same time. In the mornings we were um, doing math and language arts with our own individual kids, but in the afternoons we would get together and we would share these subjects. For over a decade, gifted parents and qualified educators have worked together to develop a robust curriculum that addresses the challenges of primary and secondary education today. The big problem is that when parents get to that point with their children where they, they're concerned about what's going on, they're concerned about how they're learning, what they're learning, the environment in which they're learning, the problem is they look around them for, a, for an alternative. They look for a solution and they, they find a mountain for mom, homeschool, takes a lot of time and it's daunting, so much so that they can't take that step, even if they feel inspired to do that. Or they'll look at online school, which is something that is less requiring for the mom, but at some point in that online school experience, the student says, I just want to go back to school with my friends. I'm lonely, and I want more of this connection. I want more social experience. So then the other alternative, the only other alternative right now is private school, and that's money that most families don't have and so we're left with millions of students and millions of families around the world who who are desperate for a solution but don't have one that's what American Heritage is bringing to to the world it's a solution a solution that that will work and that can work it's a solution grounded in one simple powerful principle connection commitment to this principle will become apparent in late 2022 with the launch of a new online learning platform called LiftEd. 
Students using the platform will be grouped by age with others who are using LiftEd in their area. Every morning, these student groups log in, happy to be with each other, eager for the moment when the lesson for that day goes live. And the first thing that happens is they get into this meeting room and their cameras are on and all the other students' cameras are on and they're immediately connected and they realize, I'm not alone in this, in this independent study uh, experience that I'm having. My, my friends are there, other students and classmates are there, and, um, and now we're, we're going together in this learning experience. The student's shared experience is framed as a journey and organized on a path. And the first stop on the path is the review game. And they log onto the review game and they see each other for a few minutes and they can chat and talk about what they're excited about for the day. From there, it's on to an expertly crafted lesson delivered on video. The student begins to watch a video with the teacher and the teacher poses a question. And the student has the opportunity to respond to this question by recording a video of themselves. Then they submit that video for other study group members to view. Who better to watch that? and to respond and to connect with the student than their fellow classmates. The entire independent learning experience isn't so independent after all. Uh, they go throughout the entire experience on this path of learning, this journey with other students. They can see where other students are. From the very minute they get into that lesson that day to the, to the minute that they're done with it, they're working on projects together, they're collaborating, they're playing games together, and uh, they're exploring together. After the interactive video lesson, there's a fun, engaging, real-time discussion with a live teacher or learning coach. Then it's awesome because we get to dive into something a little bit deeper, right? We'll get to ask some questions, some review questions, see what it is that they liked, what it is they learned, what it is they understood, and most importantly, what it is they still want to know. And that's a question I often like to ask is, what else are you curious about? and they'll, they'll start to think for a second and you start to see those cogs turning. And they're like, oh, well, I wanna know about this. I wanna know about what happened before that. And then all of a sudden there's this interaction and there's this, there's this synergy that starts to happen as we're coming together and we're connecting and we're filling in gaps that each other couldn't have filled in on our, on our own. One of the things that I really enjoy uh, from the American Heritage Worldwide Program is that it allows my children an opportunity to be heard, to listen to others, to speak and to explore subjects because it helps it sink in, it makes it relevant to them. And even that's not the end of the day's adventures. Importantly, this learning experience will not be the same for every, for every child. They'll have many opportunities on this learning path to go exploring. Optional material will be presented to them uh, to go deeper as time as is available and as their interest takes them. Online learning happens Monday through Thursday, leaving Friday available for in-person activities. Fridays are a great day to get together because there are no scheduled classes on Fridays. Fridays become the day where families can connect with other families children can connect with other children and that families can get together and support each other. Using simple calendaring and communication tools, parents are able to connect with nearby students and families for educational outings to libraries, museums, the zoo, local workplaces, or even service organizations. It's all coming together. Uh, and in some really exciting ways. What we launched this fall uh, with Lift Ed will be something that lifts students, it will lift parents, it will lift, uh, it will lift families. But perhaps more importantly, it will lift groups of families coming together to support one another in, uh, in meaningful ways. The Lift Ed platform is being developed by a team of international award-winning engineers and designers. Following leadership stints at Microsoft, Google, Twitter, and other major tech companies, this team has already blazed trails in creating platforms like Ancestry.com and other learning software systems. But the American Heritage Platform is not just another learning management system. So LMSs, or learning management systems, are what we're traditionally used to. They're pretty limited in the way that we can interact. I think uh, during the COVID pandemic, we became all too familiar with that. And that's not what we're building here. This is a learning experience platform. We have real-time interaction where uh, we're talking to each other face-to-face, uh, -face. well, through a screen, we're talking to each other face-to-face, -face, 
and we're also finding ways to get together. And, and so it's taking technology and experience uh, and traditional experience and merging it together in pretty powerful ways. The developers know that parents today are concerned about the influence of digital devices on children. So a major objective in both the architecture and design of the new platform is keeping children safe and connected to the people who love and watch over them. I, I love, for example, that I have my kids in my pocket with me right now. You know, I, I love, I feel connected to them even when I'm not physically with them. Technology allows us to grow closer and to strengthen our relationships and to see life through each other's eyes and improve our relationships and understanding and empathy and all of those kinds of things. Even in the online environment, students can establish these kinds of relationships not only with family members, but with teachers. The video lessons in LiftEd are much more than just a digital replica of a physical classroom. I think unlike the traditional classroom, where a kid might be in the back of the class watching the teacher in the front five rows ahead, having a camera right there, right next to the teacher, is a lot more intimate. It's a lot more engaging. New production studios have been completed to capture these kinds of interactions. And teachers are being prepared for this unique, highly personal teaching and learning. It's more than just the lessons, how they're written and how they're performed, but to literally the production value, how they're lit, how the cameras move. Um, I've never seen this before in education. And what we're doing here is truly innovative. One of the most important and unique contributions of American Heritage Worldwide is that the student is able to invest in the world of the teacher, and similarly, the teacher can invest in the world of the student. This happens by the camera following the teacher around and getting up close and personal with them. We've found teachers that don't lecture children. They engage them, they connect with them. They've a written outline that they need to follow, but they actually have opportunities in that outline where they can add in their own stories from their own life experiences. And they have a deep understanding that on the opposite end of that camera is your child watching this video lesson. That's who they're connecting with. Not a camera, not with us behind the camera, but with your child. Teachers on the new platform reflect the diversity of the human family and their students. When we cast our teachers, we look for a diverse range. ¿Cómo se ayuda? La abeja toma el néctar de la flor. Ages, personalities, cultures, backgrounds. We want your child to be able to see themselves in the teacher. We want them to be able to connect and have a role model that reminds them of their own unique qualities and characteristics to show that there's a place for everyone in this world. Vamos dar uma olhada nesse vídeo. Uau! Você não daria tão perto de um tubarão assim? Parece bem perigoso. Mas o tubarão tigre não machuca esses peixes agora. While the platform will launch initially in English, the production process and delivery systems are fully compatible with future releases in other languages. In this and other ways, American Heritage Worldwide is actively exploring opportunities to broaden its reach. For example, at the end of each lesson, students are invited to relate what they have learned in the lesson to their own lives and faith traditions. When we make these critical connections to faith and principles and character, we're not going to produce that content. We're going to design the tool and build the tool that enables a family or a parent or a religious leader of any faith to make those kinds of connections. We could create a Muslim version or a Jewish version of content, but it wouldn't be nearly as good as a Muslim man or a Jewish woman creating the content for their faith and for their families and for those children. In this way, students become more deeply connected to their own faith and to people of faith throughout the world. Perhaps most importantly, the new platform connects parents with their children. Well, I am so excited about Lift Ed, this learning experience platform, and particularly one aspect of it. It's called the Golden Envelope. The technology knows when a child is coming up on a certain lesson plan, and so it notifies relatives, wherever those relatives may be in the world. 
when an aunt or an uncle or a grandfather or a grandmother receives this text, they can contribute to the child's lesson plan by recording a short video. Then they push a button and the software inserts that family member's story, their history, their narrative into the child's curriculum. And they'll be able to make that really deep connection and see how does my grandmother feel about this principle and this concept and how does this story relate to me in my life. It's really taking this platform to a whole new level by allowing parents and families to stay connected with their children in this digital space. You know, education is inaccessible to too many people around the world, especially in developing nations like Africa and Asia and South America. And this technology will lower the barrier to entry for students because it reduces the cost of producing teachers. It suddenly crowdsources teachers from families. And this technology is widely available even in developing nations. This can work and it will work. It needs to work for the sake of the rising generation. Similarly, videos submitted by a student during a lesson are made available to parents and other family members. So a parent picks up their child from school and the question they normally ask is, how was school? The child will often respond with just a one word answer, good, which doesn't tell the parent anything. And in the classroom, the student is having a lot of aha moments. They're having moments where their curiosity is sparked. They feel enlightened when they finally understand a concept. And the parent is not around for those moments. At American Heritage Worldwide, the parent can be around for those moments. They can watch the videos that the student made during their lesson. They get a text message or an email that tells them specifically what their child learned that day. So they can ask questions that relates to that material specifically and start conversations about that child's opinion. This can change a parent's feeling about their child forever. They can see their divine qualities, the things that make them unique, the reasons why they were put on this world. And it's not something that's happening behind closed doors in a school. It's something that's happening right in front of them in their home. As foreseen by the school's founders, as the new LiftEd platform connects students, it will also connect families. Already in many areas of the U.S., Parents from multiple families are working together and meeting together to enrich their children's education. We gathered every week and we had activities planned and every six weeks we would have a bigger activity where we'd invite the dads to do it with us, you know, a dinner and a celebration and it was beautiful. It just became our community now. It's a community of sharing. It's nice to have a support system with individuals who are very diverse, um, but they have the same values that I have. The biggest blessing I think is the associations that my children have with with the other children. Growing up, I, I was never a very social child, but my children are and they need connection. They need people to be with. It's been especially significant to watch my older children appreciate these friends, these friends who are like-minded and who are experiencing similar things. You know who your kids' friends are you know who your kids' friends' parents are because they're your friends too. And so you have this, just this tight-knit group where the older kids love the little kids, the parents know your children, you know, it, you just have this really tight community. When groups of families come together to support each other, we call that a family education center because it's just that, groups of families, right? Getting together to support each other, providing in-person learning and connection. Families supporting families is ideal, where enrollment in traditional public and private schools is impossible, impractical, or even undesirable. And it's a solution easily tailored to the needs and circumstances of participating families. Family education centers will take on many forms. Uh, some of them will be small cooperatives. Uh, some of them will look more like little micro schools. What's important is that uh, they have the autonomy to grow and to develop, they have the support from a school, uh, like American Heritage School, uh, and that they're gathering together and supporting each other wherever they're at in the world. In addition to American Heritage's basic curriculum, Lift Ed can also provide families with lessons in specialized subjects like family life, work and entrepreneurship, budgeting and finance, and even human rights. Lift Ed will not just attract families and students, 
it will also attract great content providers. We don't have to produce all the content. We just have to create a platform that allows content providers to take their life work in many cases and give them a platform on which they can have more impact. With a robust content offering, American Heritage Worldwide will naturally become a feeder to local and online post-secondary educational programs, opening the door for children to pursue occupational and higher education and the rewards of lifelong learning. It was a modest beginning in that small vacated chapel. 30 years later, the school's move to a new campus in American Fork was nothing short of a quantum leap. A leap that is occurring once again. From several hundred students on campuses in Utah to students and families throughout the world, that seed planted in 1970 is rising to become a magnificent tree. One of the things that excites me about the vision and mission of the school is that it's intended not just for the United States, but for families in continents across the globe, Africa, South America, Asia, Europe, even the things that we're doing, like the upcoming construction of our Performing Arts and Broadcast Media Center. That last part, Broadcast Media, acknowledges that we have a message that needs to be magnified. Magnified through music, through performing arts, through curriculum that we record and broadcast to the internet for families all over the world. Our mission is like a tree and the light of God is what illuminates this work. And the tree and that light reflect themselves and their goodness upon the child who sits beneath it. That's why we're doing what we're doing. God loves all of his children. And if we can change even one child through the shade of this tree and the light of God coming through its branches, that child will change her home. Her home and her family will change the community. That community will change the nation, and that nation change can change the world. That's how we change the world through the mission of American Heritage School.